Hi Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with Imperator, our first episode, and we are playing as Macedon. And uh, yeah, we'll just quickly read this, about Alexander, something about Alexander the Great. Uh, 18 years ago, Alexander died, age 32, very very young, poor guy. In five years preceding his death, his continuing military successes had reshaped the world as known to the Greeks, his empire stretching interrupted from Egypt to the Indus. A long, long way then. The shock of Alexander's early death and his lack of a chosen successor sent shockwaves through the hierarchy of Starops, I probably butchered that name, and generals who attended him, splintering his empire into elements ruled by these potentates. Oh god, this is going to be a long, a long let's play with names like, well, words like that. Styled as the Diadochi. I think I got that right. For many years, they and their successors have locked in a bitter struggle over the future of the Empire, drawing all nations within their sphere of influence into the conflict. The wars of the Diadochi will surely continue. Perhaps it will be up to Macedon to decide how they will end. The die is cast. Well, I hope it is, because Macedon's like the... Um, well, they set up the Empire. So, like, the successor kingdoms are Macedon, Phrygia. The Seleucid Empire, Egypt, I think they're the only ones, yeah, I think they are, Oof, go, yeah, all the way, so he gets all the way up to about here, does um, Alexander, and all of this, most of Greece and like this area, and then I know, I think, if you watch like the Alexander film, um, oh, I've forgotten what it, how old it is, it's quite an old one, he was like planning to take Arabia and Italy, it was his next plans after, but he died before he could do that. So anyway, well, uh, first thing I've just seen, we've got a big old army here of 21,000 troops. It's fairly big. So we'll uh, put a commander in. Put Cassander Antri Antriprid. Definitely butchered that. And Antipatrid. Go with that. I think he he's our current player. That's who we're playing as currently. So, and Cassander was one of... Um, uh, the generals that like most loyal generals of Alexander at the time. So we've done that. Lack of commander. Oh yes, and now we'll put for the fleet. I don't know. We'll put some guy in who's very loyal. I'll put Alexander Antropatent in. Maybe you'll be as maybe you'll be like Alexander, but just in the navy. So I don't know. That was a terrible thing to. S what a bad idea. So anyway, what we're gonna do here? Property tax. We're gonna put the national tax up, and then we are also gonna put up because if you look at technologies quickly. Ah, got some of my eye. Ah, oops. like a fly or something just flew into my eye. Brilliant. Um, anyway, blessings of Hades is what I'm going for. I've, I've quickly had a quick go of this. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a master at it. I played about 40 odd minutes before as Mastodon just to get an idea. It went okay. Nothing amazing. Um, so we'll put blessings of Hades on to like boost attacks. And then I'm going to put on um, hierarchical hospitation which boosts omen power so that's just gonna boost the boost I've done for like um, so it's gonna boost national tax even more so I'll put that on boost that so we're now well we're still minus 1.74 but I haven't started so it won't know yet and then we've got unused trade routes so nothing everything is X's at the moment because we've unpaused so I'll, I'll look at that in a minute but uh we'll look what else are we gonna do we've got Oratory power and other stuff. I think I kind of want to get get off with a bang, so I do kind of want to start a war somewhere. Not quite sure where. Maybe up here. I think. Oh, looking at my diplomacy. Let's look at my diplomacy quickly. So I have Thrace as an ally. They're fairly. They're all right. They're fairly big. Don't know how big their army is. I think looking. They were like 9k when I played last time, but I don't know how much they would build up if I went to war with them. Then we've got Argos all the way down here as an ally. We've got Euboea as an ally here and we've got Pannonia. Oh, these are subjects. Argos and that are subjects. They're all subjects. Okay. So they're all subjects. So I could slowly integrate them into my uh, empire, I presume. A bit like EU4. Seleucid Empire is guaranteeing us and Egypt's guaranteeing us. Nice. That's pretty good. So that means Phrygia can barely touch us. Um, Argos has a military accent. Yeah, it's a similar sort of things. And then we're exporting stuff to Egypt and we're importing stuff to Egypt. Grain, I presume, yeah. And what we're giving to Egypt? 
absolutely nothing apparently. Anyway, so we'll start it on three speed and we'll uh, we'll debate where we're going to go for first. I think this nation, this like nation here, would be a good start. It gets us to the Adriatic Sea, isn't that? That's the Adriatic Sea. So we've got access there. So I'm going to have a look at diplomacy. So they are an uh, alliance with Epirus, who are, in the short amount of time I've played of this game, are a bit of a problem. A bit of a problem. But I think that's the case with everyone. What about this small, irrelevant nation down here? They're actually allied with no one. Might be an idea to go to war with them. Province of... Um, yeah, just go for one of them. It doesn't really matter. I think it's the same... We now got a claim on them. I mean, it's gonna be a bit stop start to start with because I'm still learning stuff. So research point excellent. Anyway, we were supposed to look at our trade now. Trade, 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 trade. Hmm. Still no one would. Oh, I lack stuff. Ours is civic power, of course. So yeah, I'm wait. I have to wait a little bit to get civic power to then look at stuff. We are gonna start moving our army down to like here, just so we have a. Bit of a shorter distance to cover when we have to eventually go to war with these guys. I'd like to go to war with these guys early on. Get a quick expansion going. Oh, okay. We've got a pop-up. The Wars of the Diadochi. I haven't been the largest empire I've ever seen. Yep, he did. Lots of... He died. Okay. Okay, Cassander of Macedon, son of Antipater. Was the son of... Yep, General, I was right on that. He's one of his most senior and loyal generals. Given the honour of guard his heirs until they came upon age. Upon the death of his father, the Cassandra killed his appointed regent and helped from his father's enemies and proceeded. Oh, the heirs and then was. Oh! You horrible man! Okay, so just a lot of stuff happened. And then. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of claims on Greece, Thrace, Macedonia, Syria, Asia. And these die on my, on my ruler's death. Oh. I better do some expanding quickly than you'd have thought. Um, yeah, sure. I the trade fit I'm still a bit confused about, but if you know what what it does, put it in the comments. Um, and let me know what's going on. I'm gonna, I'll just accept it because it's boosting my economy and I need money. You always need money. Oh yeah, we're five off. Okay, we need a little bit more. Um, Thrace can always have stuff from me because we're allies. That, that's just a given. They can have stuff. Uh, stability. I imagine we'll have to boost that because I imagine people will start when people start to die, we lose stability. So anyway, are you still? Oh, you're in an alliance with Aetolia and Boeotia, and you have a castle spell eye on them, and you're in a defensive league with Kakira, who are very small themselves. I could try and get an alliance with Epirus. They wouldn't do any of the sort. All of you would join. And you're all very strange people. Oh, release. Okay. I'm just I was just looking around. Renovations. Um his name <laughs> in his civic capacity informs us that the opportunity has arisen. And da 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 Um surely this opportunity is too great to miss. Release the funds. I lose a lot of money. We have no need of this. Uh, yeah, no. I'm just gonna leave it. I kind of could do with the money, I imagine. Uh, my population. Is, oh yeah, my manpower is huge. My military power is very good. And civic power we finally can do stuff with our trade. Right. So the one I was looking at is salt, but this time we can't do it. Is army maintenance. Citizen. Okay, people just moved. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it quickly. Um, we have an abundance, glass, wine, and grain. I might go for, if I'm going to get anything, I might get military. I kind of want to get military. Base metals, recruit speed, wild game, hemp, furs, salt, ammo, cloth. We could improve, improve tax. I might improve livestock I think for now or fish hmm I'll do grain for now I'll get it from Scythia go on then I think grains always just handy to have I feel like this is gonna it's gonna be like I bet there's gonna be like something that's like oh you starve or if you don't have enough grain oh that was really quick the game just lagged there 
Okay, I'm not going to plan to go to war just quite yet, because I think we could build up a larger army, but Boeotia and Kokairo would be the only ones that joined. Oh, well, a lot of people would join if I went to war there. Anyway, let's build some units. Build some units. This is the quick way I've found of like, just getting to a lot of stuff. So, build heavy infantry. Oh, recruit hispatists in there. Good at... You don't seem to be very good at stuff, actually. That's probably why you're pretty rubbish. I'll get heavy infantry, and I will recruit them here, here, and here. Because why not? And then I will get some... I might get some marchers. I'll get some marchers here and here. I'll just make that a larger army. I mean, it's not really like it can actually still... This um, army can really go much further, because it's like the... Um, supply is so high, like required for the. It's ridiculous. Can we recruit boats, or do we just bi okay build units? Okay. Oh, that's just like doing it there. Oh. Can we not build ships? That's the only thing I'm not worked out is how to build ships. Um, I'm gonna build a training camp because oh, or a marketplace. I might build a marketplace in my capital. And to lack a commander because you're all arriving, so I will put you in there, and we will see what happens. I kind of want to... If I went to war with Phrygia... Oh, a lot of people join, and it's definitely not a war I can win. I think I'm going to have to wait a long, long time until I can go to war just quite yet. I'd like to go to war with you, actually, as well. I'm just such an aggressive, like... I've got to go to war instantly, make some expansion, early expansion, but... Um, let's just look around, declare war. Ooh, you might be a good a good move to go for. And showing superiority would reduce that. I might go to war with you and expand this way. Go a bit off, like, what off-piece what Alexander was doing and expand out here. Relations, I can improve relations if I wanted to. Or I can send gifts, and that would do the job. They quite like me. Okay, I've gained Vengeful. I'll send a gift, a little gift to you. It's not very expensive. Okay, lots of people are doing stuff. Who are you, Dardania? Oh, I'm definitely going to war with you soon, eventually anyway. So, this is hideous. Gains, loses popularity. Demolish it at once. Um, I'll... Oh, my... Popularity is not great. I'm going to have to lose that, I think. I'm sorry. Uh, who are you? Armistia? Um, yeah, you're maybe too far from where I want to go. And I'm going to decline. Oh my gosh, so many of these are coming through. Um, Argos can have whatever. Yeah, sure. I don't know if it's just because I've got a lot of stuff. Epidurus. Yeah, sure. If it's a Greek nation, I'll probably give it away. Because right now, we could do with a few allies when needed. Open diplomacy. I can guarantee you, and I might. Ooh, pretend to support. Okay, so pretend to support. This is one of our pretenders. Supports Antipater. Demand support of air. I'm going to do that. I'm going to demand you support my air. Demand support the air. Who? Actually, I don't know who my air is. Um, characters. No, wrong one. Um, still working my way around this. this is, I'm sorry, guys. Um, d -d -d government. Here we go. Air is Philip the Fourth, who's actually all. If he's already been fourth, that means he must be already coronated or something. Yeah, he's very much supported. Oh, but only just. Antipater is very close. Very, Some of them are very, very close in support. But, um... Diplomacy. Oh, now Epirus has joined in their alliance sort of thing. Hmm, and Thebes has joined, so... We may not be able to go to war just quite yet. We might have to wait until someone else goes to war and then sneak in the back door and do some damage. Phrygia, are you at war with anyone yet? Oh, they are. They are at war with... 
whoever the heck you are. And Pontus. Hmm. Very interesting. They look like a lot of damage is being done. Who are you? Azania? You're down here somewhere, aren't you? Oh, you they're like this nation. Yeah, sure. I could guarantee all these nations. Do I have um like a diplomatic amount of people I can look after? I also I don't know if I want to see that anymore. Invention anyway. We've got a thing. Got a thing we can do. Military tech investments, human conduct, aggressive protection. I'm gonna go with I'm going to go with diplomatic reputation, improve our diplomatic reputation, hopefully swing more people to my banners. Um, I might try and get Dardania on side for now. Oh, I can't. Because you're at war with a lot of people, actually. If only I had more oratory power. Oop, and that was just a big bit of lag there. A big... Um, Claire War. Not many people would join again. So you're actually not supported by Epirus, and you are supported by. Oh, who are you then? Mesopia? Settled Tribe. I have no idea what half these people are. Caviar. I'm still learning very much where everyone is. It's an alliance with the Mesopia. You're like, you look like you're somewhere in there. You can't be, oh, I don't know. Mesopia, Mesopia, somewhere down here, I think. I'm not quite sure where, and it's doing me some problems not knowing. Caviar, Abrea, Dardania, Dardania looks like it's getting a bit if it's ass kicked. But hey, we'll never know. Anyway, let's put up the speed a little bit. Let's see what's going on in the world. Um, I could go to war with Drissia. Possibly. But again, oh, enemy allies. Thrace, who would join? Um, I'm going to say, oh, Olympic Games. You're very bad at send... Or send... Isaiah needed, or you. I'm going to send you, because you're not as good. And no, because we could go to war very soon. Sparta, yes, and I meant to get an alliance with you. Hopefully you still will. Ooh. Um. I'll, I'll let the Freeman join. I'll guarantee you. Why can we not do that? Have at least one more positive point. The negative point. Oh, we have our diplomat en route who arrived there. Da, 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 whatever. So why can't we do it then? Is it because you're at war? Or... That's very strange. I can't just get... I should just surely be able to get an alliance with you. But apparently not. Okay, we, we got a bit of popularity for that. Very nice. Hello, uh, Petraea? You're also... Petraea's there. Oh, it's this place that's in my Wrath of Sparta campaign. And if you haven't checked that out, guys, I, re um, I really recommend that you do. My co-op campaign with Scrim is very, very good. And these people are in it. And I have meant to go after them, and I haven't. Um, yeah, sure, go for it. We'll do it. And we're making a fair amount of money now. We're making nine to go. We could afford to make some more armies, but I'm not sure. Who are you allied with? I can guarantee you, you're at war with Lepron, and you would be calling in a lot of people. Frigid look all big and scary, but I don't actually know if they could actually support any of these wars in Greece. They have, like, Calchis as their only stronghold here. But I don't know whether, and I can just declare war on you to take a lot of stuff. 
But a lot of these nations join, which I'm not really sure how I like that. So I might have to wait until Phrygia looks a little bit weaker and then go, now it's time to go. Because I think first aim should be to certainly unite like Thrace and maybe Peonia. Maybe get to the Adriatic Sea as well. Soldiers and I've been deciding with some word <laughs> and the band more like bandits and madmen. Put an end to this, we lose religious power. Um shrine of that we lose a lot of money. I'm just gonna go with the top one because it seems like the safest option. To be honest. Um the other ones look a bit dodgy. I really wish I could fabricate some more claims as well. So I think that would have been a better a better deal going after these guys. Dardania looks weak. And Serdic is certainly going to be very weak. They've not even got any allies. They would have been a good choice to go after. Right, here we go. I'm going to go for Fabricate Claim 10%. Excellent. That will bring stuff down there. Um, who are you? Istros? No, you're like a long way away. And I don't... I could trade with you, you're, but you're just like... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't. Hey, we didn't. We didn't. Right, anyway. So now, how much does it cost to... 60. Okay. 160. We're nearly there. Oh, we just received a gift from Ellis. Sweet. Would Ellis want to be an ally then? They would. I'm going to guarantee him. Why would you not want that now? We have too many relations. Yes, okay. How? Where do I see diplomatic relations then? Uh, diplomacy would probably be the best way to look at it. So quickly, let's have a look. We're getting that. Diplomatic relations. Alliance with Thrace. I haven't actually got anything else. What else can I get with them? Invite to, well, with too powerful to have in a defensive league. Unlucky for us. Relation actions, cove actions. Um, I could. What are you? Ninety-two, and I want. I really want to access. I don't need to do any of that. I want to do influence, and I want to. Oh no, I don't. I want one of these. One of these is the one I want to do. Which one? I haven't looked. I think I've looked at all of them. Oh, I could sell a city. But I'm pretty sure I, since they are a tribal vassal, I should should be able to just absorb them into my empire, I would have thought. Maybe not. Or would it be better to end my overlordship, conquer them, and then do it like that? I wonder. I wonder. And I could guarantee them. I could just guarantee everyone if I wanted to, and you declare war. A lot of people would join. A lot of small people, by the looks of it. Oh, you're not that small. But hey, got to start somewhere. Um, yes, the race can have that, and we'll carry on for speed. We nearly got enough to make another claim, which I plan to do. Oh my gosh, this place now is like. Is that theirs? Oh! Rude of them. They ended their military access. Which I assume they probably just needed for like a war. Uh, guarantee. Since Okay. As a rival? Let them fight. Side with Philip the chosen heir. What are these fighting over anyway? It's, it's a little surprised to find two of the ambitious clones to throw massive and found themselves at odds these complex. Oh, uh, Antropid is my... Yeah, you are my... Uh, both heirs anyway. So Philip would start seeing you as a rival. Which is not brilliant. Not brilliant at all, but... I will... I'll just let them fight, because then they can see each other as rivals. Hey, that's not really a great idea, but... I, I don't know what else we can do, really. There's not not many great options there. Epirus, what are you doing? How many? You've actually not got any allies. 
What have you got an idea to go after you then? Epirus. Might be. I'll fabricate a claim on the province of Epirus. And we'll, uh, we'll do some invasions, I think, soon. And I'm going to move there, just to be nicely on the border. And then we will start to invade, because Epirus definitely can do with some invasions. Confirm. Let's just march in. There we go, we're at war. War with Epirus. Call in allies. Um, call to arms. Yeah, sure. You, you still like me enough, so that's what matters. You need to like me just a little bit. You want to import stuff? Sure, go for it. Um, oh, blessing of Hades, please, still. We still need that income, thank you. Thank you. Looting, be gentle, because we're going to take we're going to take this land for ourselves and our own people. Are you guys going to move, or do I need to give you military access? I can never remember. No, because but alliance, I can't call you into a war. Stranger, you're not in this war. Interesting, I will admit, very interesting, which does make me wonder why I keep you. does make me wonder. It does make me think I should just get rid of you. Same with Boeotia. Not Boeotia, Uboa. And, well, certainly Uboa I might get rid of because we could just surely just march across and invade. And actually... Oh no, you are at war with Epirus. You have a, a not at war with Epirus. And we've got someone else, so I'm just going to quickly pause. Professional sailors, learning the job, starting experience. Tribal reserve, standardized measures, herbalism. I might go with this and help boost the morale of places, of people, just to, um, just since we're at war. Also, um, I've just seen like these huge stacks that you think, why are there huge stacks in your, in your empire? It's just mercenaries that you can just like hire, just there and then. Which is kind of like, I kind of like, I will admit, I might go to war here, go to war, go and have a battle here. Have a battle here, have our first battle, we might lose this, I hope not, because we are like 10,000 stronger than him. I like this whole cinema cinematic thing they've got going on, also I have shock action as my like thing against um, envelopment. So, we like stomp that. We, during this rule, 3,000 of our men would kill about 4,000, and we kill about 10, um, 8,000 of theirs. Which is excellent! It's blooming splendid. In the words of some aristocratic British man. And we're gonna bring around, um, monthly legitimacy. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm also gonna bring around the navy. Bring around the navy to help fight this war. And looks like Thrace is doing the same. It's going to bring its navy around. So that is very, very good. Um, hopefully we can starve these people out very quickly. Minus 21. It's just like the same as EU4 and sieges. It's very, very... Well, just stand there and wait and you can assault. Oh, I've got a gift from Thebes. And you're moving somewhere. Nice. I'm going to move there and I'm going to see if that helps benefit the siege. And there's about to have a battle. Which we should win. Just like that. Nice. I don't know if we destroyed... Oh no. None of their fleet was destroyed, but... It helped. It helped. You're at war now with someone. And you're... Oh, you're at war with a lot of people, actually. You might be next on my list. I might come back for you now that you've like broken all your alliances, you idiots. I think they have anyway. Yeah, they've broken all their alliances. They're in a defensive league with some people, but not anyone big. Thebes is one of them, and these people were the other, the think. The Achaeans. Uh, looting be gentle, because we're gonna just like take the land and murder the people. I'm joking, we're not gonna murder them. Just said we won't. 
Um, no, we're gonna lose that apparently. We would lose that too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna see whether we'd, how much we'd get now for just taking this. And break here, that, that. We get that. Quietly, we couldn't take that. Apparently not. What was this? Would we get money? We could get money out of them. A lot of just like. Oh, shit. <laughs> we should do this a lot. That would be a lot quicker. Um, we could get a lot of money out of them. I kind of want to get a bit more land. Um, cancel. Could 24 to 21. I'm tempted to just leave it like that, but. But then it actually takes a long time for. I'm pretty sure it takes a long time for the old... I'm, I'll leave it a bit, because I'm sure they'll go for their capital, which I think is here. Yeah. So we might just wait. We'll keep, we'll keep following them. Keep following them. They've got to stop to take High Patter. And this is actually also a city. Interesting. This is going to be... A, an even battle. Apparently. I'm not so sure if we'll win this. No, we are definitely going to lose this battle. Oh dear, we are going to have our first defeat of the campaign. Uh, oh, I could die. Mm. Oh, oh, I died. Uh, oh dear. I just died. Oh, interesting. So I lost all my claims. I am going to call an end to the war. And take what I can. Oh, I can take that. Um, Reset. Take this, take that, take that, take that. And it would be okay with that. How much money? I should do this in tens. It'd be a lot quicker. Is this the war score? Uh, I don't know. So we can do that. I'm going to do that because that is all we're going to get out of that. And we die doing it anyway. So I'm going to put myself... Oh gosh, actually, my marshal is terrible. But I will put myself as general pretender support. You, I'm going to... Man, oh, that's a point. Unmarried ruler. I could reward the veterans. And I will. I will reward the veterans because... Um, seek treatment. I'm ill. I think. I think I'm ill. But of there, he's got a, he's got a monthly legitimacy. I've lost all those claims, which is annoying. I can imprison Alexander. Who's that? I could imprison you. Well, actually, I can't. But rivals. Um, I could hold the games. I might just because we have enough money to do it. Seek treatment. I'll arrange a marriage with... Um, I wish it just told you like who these people like were. You're from the Carsid family. Oh yeah, that's a point. Look at families. Families, 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 quickly. Nation overview. Oh no, that's definitely wrong. But we will look at stuff. Current ideas. We can't do any ideas at the moment. Um, pretend support. I'm going to demand your support for my heir. Um, who I have no idea who my heir is currently. Let's have a look. My heir is Antipater. Antipater. And he has very little loyalty towards me. Brilliant. I'm going to just arrange... You look fairly good. But you're bringing down a lot of my stuff. But you put a national slave. Zeal. And that. So you're actually possibly not the greatest. Um... It might be the one with the least traits. Might be the best one. Eh, you're fairly good. I'll go with you. You seem very good. Um, so we'll do that. And then you're going to go back to there, it seems. And we'll let you do your thing. So we could now... Yeah, oh no we can't because we lost all the claims. Oh, brilliant. Why did my guy have to die? Whatever his name was. I've already forgotten his name. Macedon gets money. 
or that one. I'm clearly going to go with that one. That's just a lot of bonuses. Anyway, you hurry up back to your place. Philip the Fourth Antrapatid, or whatever your name is. No one cares. Um, no, because you're probably in expanding. Oh, you've got a very weird. Oh, that's border gore and a half. So anyway, we've expanded. We've taken a bit of Epirus. We've got a bit chunkier. Um, my next aim, I think, I imagine we've got a huge old truce now. Let's diplomacy. It's not that one. Diplomacy. I imagine we've got. A Don't want to look at you. Um, we've got a huge truce with people. Yeah, truce. Till 64. So we've got. No, it's not that long. We're doing a lot of trading. We've got a lot of subjects who I bet we can't still influence. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Influence. And we can start entry. Inflammination. I'm going to die, aren't I? Oh, no. I'm going to have to start looking for treatment. I can tell. But anyway, so we'll quick, we'll do treatment in a minute. Do that in a minute. How much are we making? Ten a go. That seems like a lot, but I could be wrong. In like That could just generally be pretty awful. I'm going to improve it anyway. Government. My character. I'm going to seek treatment for whatever. This is. So this is gonna just like cost me a hundred and that'll be that's it, that'll be good. Fifty five fifty nine thousand. Um I'm gonna spend some money as well on improving local manpower in Odessa, here and here. It didn't really say like how much like compared to some of the other places. It didn't like like in the U four it tell you how much it will improve your manpower by this one doesn't do that, and it's kind of annoying. Anyway, I've forgotten what I was going to do now, and that's really annoying. I will unpause, and we will see. Um, oh, yeah, I was looking at... Oh, yes, I was going to see inter integration. How you integrate? Influence. In yeah. How was I... I look, looking at it earlier. Argos. Influence. It's our integration. So I can do it for you... I don't know if I can actually do it for that tribal place. Have to have a lot of. I bet I don't think I can, can I? So, are they just going to be like there and then they, I get like a. Oh, okay, we've got Olympic Games again. Interesting. Can't see how loyal. How loyal are you to me then? Loyalty is high. Oh, you're both high. So that's that's that out of the question. Which one's least useful? You're actually very good. You're not so good. You're not very good at holy stuff, but you are very good at holy stuff. I also should look at technologies and see if any of you are in here. You are doing stuff there, so I am going to send you. I'm sorry. I guess. I guess. Off you go. I guess. So I might start improving relations here. Oh, I can't. I can send an insult. <laughs> a child is born. He's been named Cassander. Ah, that was the name of my guy. That's it. Oh, okay. There's a lot of support for them. I'm going to... I might bribe you. Oh, I have to pay a lot of that. Um, a royal marriage between her and him. Yeah, sure. That seems fine. A lot of people... Oh, of course, yeah, now I have a new heir. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing no reason why... Right. Oi. Okay, we don't need to know about all the... Uh, Byzantine and thingy as well. We may have to start internally dealing with some things, I'm just thinking. Right, you, so you've got an heir. Are you prime... You are primary heir. I, to be honest, I don't know if I really care who is in charge. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look up on that if it really matters. Who's in charge? As long as I have someone in charge, that is... That's what matters. Someone from my dynasty in charge will be alright. Alliance, you're still being... Okay, so we're doing okay. I'm very popular. How young am I? Not young enough, probably. I can't actually see how, old, how young I am. My heir is still... What do you want? Call to arms against Byzantium and Thrace. Yeah, sure. Um, 
I might have to open that wall. I will move. I'll move to there. What's. Oh, Byzantium and Thrace have very big armies. Yep, yeah, we definitely will have to open this wall. Thank you, Thrace, for dragging me into a war I definitely did not want to be part of. And also, my fleet is still out here. Get back in there. Um, I'm going to demand support for air. Just to give him a bit of help. The poor lad. He's only a kid. He can't help if he's, uh, well, a flipping idiot. I'll put it like that. Okay, we'll make granary. We'll build some more. We'll build a granary here, here, and here. Again, I'd, I wish I kind of knew, like, which one, how it boosts. Because it just, like, doesn't help. It doesn't say anything. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll quickly have a quick war here. I would like to... Um, go to war again in this episode for maybe whoever these are, Arcania. Arcania would be quite nice to take them out and then maybe I'd like to Tulantia. I might be able to get I've now got access to the Adriatic, Adriatic coast though. Always a good thing. So that is good. Right, you're do doing stuff here. Go go take Byzantine out. Uh, which is annoying because they really liked me at one point. Now they, now they don't. Now they flipping hate me. It's all your fault. Whoever you are. Um, you boa. I can't. What do you like me? 50. Not enough. <laughs> I'll, send a, I'll send a gift. While I sort out my... Yeah, I don't even care which one it is. You're very loyal to me. That's the thing. And you're supporting a different... Different man. Yay, and these have all been built. And it's telling me. Thank you. I need to know this. Can I get rid of this? That's more the important thing. I kind of don't need this. Um, I just don't want it there, really. And I'm taking a lot. Of, I really should probably like split this army up. They're certainly gonna next troops I'll build. I'll build a smaller army. I'm gonna just move straight in and take their capital. How big's that army? Nine thousand in it. Lot. Oh god, Thrace has got a big army now. It's just like built a load of troops. Um, yeah. Why would I go do the other one? I'm not really that bothered about that. See, I can't constantly be at war. I'm gonna need to after this just be like, guys, that's it. Yay! I'm I'm cured of whatever disease I had. I'm not really red. So well. <laughs> we'll we'll find out. We'll find out whether I'm a uh, what I have. And Christmas has been, and we're into the new year. Hey, oh. Stability. How do I improve stability? I might quickly look. That's diplomacy, trade, characters, mercenaries, decisions, economy, religion. Can I boost stability? I would have thought so. Show laws. Okay. Nation overview. Current idea. I can't do any of these. It's a shame. Hmm. I'll have to look that up quickly because I just realised my stability is zero. And I would like to have that up, if anything. And my aggressive expansion's gone up, but hey. I won't be going to war for a little while. I'll I'll have a break. Not not too long a break. But a long enough that people forget that I'm doing stuff. But hey. We're, do we're doing okay. Oh my gosh. How many men did you lose? And why is it so... 13. Oh, just... Oh, I'm sorry. This army is just too big. I'm going to have to split this army up. Make it like a 20 stack and a 5 stack, I think. I'm not even sure what size this army is at full, s full strength. No one is. But hey. We all never know. Right, current idea. I just... We won... Oh, I won a battle. Oh, I didn't realise we were in a battle. Interesting. We were in a battle and I didn't even know. I'm now going to go back to my own territory. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I don't know. You yeah, now are at zero. You seem to have it well in control. I'm just going to say... Um, I'll go with the money. I'll get more money. Oh, what is this? Military tradition. 
I can afford a military tradition. Heavy infantry, cohort starting experience, experience decay. What's that? Veterans of the Great Campaign. Ooh, that's kind of good. Or... I might go with the Sarissa, I think, for now. <laughs> Get that going. That's very good. I didn't realise that I could have been doing that. Good to know. Good to know. Um, without knowing, I guess. Put it like that. Um, and then, what is all this? Mm, oh, I can convert money to stuff. Oh, I should be doing that. I'll, I'll convert a bit of money. There we go. So we've got 95 now. Um, economy, tech, religion. Oh, and that's how I increase stability. By sacrificing... There. I'll sacrifice a piggy. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys... That is, I've just realised the time, uh, this is going on for a fairly long episode otherwise. So I will say goodbye for now. I hope you've enjoyed Imperator. If you have, please smash the like button. If you're new around here, please sub and hit the notification bell so you know when more Imperator is on the channel. Until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.